People used to tell me that if there was anything in the world that I could imagine myself doing, to do it. You can only control so much, you have to just let go. You know, you're not in control of anything. You're not really in control of life. You're not in control of a thing in the world. Um, and as I get older, the more and more I see that. Probably through watching movies, you know, you imagine that there's this glamorous life happening somewhere that you're not a part of. I had kind of imagined a certain life for myself. I quickly realized that acting wasn't for me and that it drove me crazy. I realized I wasn't in control and I didn't like that. So I thought, well, what am I going to do? I had always been interested in architecture and I thought, well, I'll go back to school and study and become an architect. So I enrolled in Parsons, and I kept finding a way to kind of fit fashion into whatever project I was working on. You know, back in those days, and I don't know whether it still happens, we had to make full-scale architect, or not full-scale, but scale architectural models. And you'd spend days and days cutting little pieces of balsa wood and making it all perfect. And I would often spend more time figuring out what the little figures I was putting in were doing, were wearing. Uh, I realized that I was working fashion into my architecture a lot, and that architecture was perhaps too serious a discipline for me. I think anyone who has a career, uh, not just a job, but something that you love, that you're passionate about, that you have put so much of yourself into, that when that disappears, you maybe don't know who you are. I didn't. It was, well, who am I? What is my identity? I had had such a great voice in contemporary culture, and if you're someone who likes to express themselves, that is very powerful and valuable. And I felt like I had no voice. I didn't know what I was, who I was supposed to be. I had no identity. Stopping and looking back has helped me to actually feel some of the emotions that I missed while I was living the past 25 years. Ultimately, there can be great sadness in looking back, because when the past is beautiful, we mourn that it is, in fact, the past. It's gone. But it can also give us the drive to make the next chapter as beautiful and as meaningful as the last. You have to love what you do to the point where you cannot imagine doing anything else with your life. Otherwise, you really need to get out now, and that's not a joke. But I promise there'll be some light at the end of the tunnel. You have a voice that can influence contemporary culture as much or more than anything else. If you love what you do, then there's nothing like the rush of having a great idea and seeing it created and then seeing the happiness that you can ultimately bring a consumer who buys, wears, and loves what you designed. You won't feel it and you won't realize how lucky you were until many years from now. And then you'll look back and you'll realize what it all was about. So try very hard to hold on to each and every moment as your careers take off.